welcome to the podcast, The Road to Restoration. I'm Pastor Sergio Delamora, and I am fired up that you're joining us today. And I want to say welcome to all the new people that are joining us on the podcast. And thank you to everyone who's been part of our podcast community. You're the difference maker. You've shared, you've, you've placed likes in there, you've placed comments. All of that makes a difference to get the word out as together we're helping people stay on the road of restoration. And whether you're on the road, you've fallen off the road, you need to get back on the road, or maybe you're weary of being on the road. I'm glad that you're joining me today. I'm going to talk to you about something that I believe makes all the difference in the process of restoration and into all of us restoring our lives. It's the one ingredient that I've personally seen has made all the difference. I want to talk to you about finding the right friends, finding the right friends. All of us desire healthy relationships and we should, but I've learned this over the years that we can only grow to the level of friendships that are in our life. It's true. Tell me who you hang around and tell me who you're spending time with. And I'll tell you what your future is going to be like. And oftentimes we settle in our friendships. We settle in our relationships. We tolerate people in our life because it's just comfortable. Or at worst, we're the smartest person in the room, the wisest person in the room, or maybe the person that is most experienced in the room. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying that we can't spend all of our time in those circles. Restoration is about not just getting back to where you were, but it's about going to where you're supposed to be. And it all begins with making the right decisions. And some of those decisions are choosing the right friends. Now, I'm going to go to the Bible because the Bible is a great book that reveals the genius of friendships because one friend can make all the difference. And so today I want to talk to you about the one ingredient that a friend will make if you're around the right friend. And we're going to find this in the book of Luke chapter one. Listen to this story. It says, now Elizabeth, as it happened, heard the greeting of Mary that the babe or the baby on the inside of her womb began to leap and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that when Elizabeth heard the voice of Mary, who was pregnant with Jesus, when she heard Mary's voice, the baby inside of her, who was John the Baptist, leaped all of a sudden. So what's the principle that we can extract from this verse? Find friends that make your baby leap. That's the principle. Find friends that cause the dream on the inside of you to leap that causes the real you on the inside of you to leap, that causes the fire on the inside of you to leap. The Bible says that when Elizabeth heard the voice of Mary, it caused a reaction on the inside of her. So this is the thought that I want to share with you today. As you and I grow in life, I want to encourage us to find the right people to grow with. There are people who will cause your baby to leap. There are friends that just by spending 10 minutes on the phone with them, dreams, ideas, desires, all of a sudden are awakened. Also, by talking to them, detours, stops, and pauses come alive because the right people in your life will make sure you stay on the right road. Let me say that again. The right people in your life will make sure you stay on the right road. So this is what I want to share with you about friends. The right friend will always awaken the right desire in you. Let me say it again. The right friend or the correct friend will always awaken the right desire on the inside of you. Equally so, the wrong friend will always cause the wrong desire that God wants to cancel in your life to be awakened. Think about what I just said, that the wrong friends will always cause the wrong desires on the inside of you to awaken that God wants to cancel in your life. So here is the big question. Ask yourself this, what are the people around you bringing out of you? When you get around that one person, did they cause your faith to rise or your doubts to rise? When you get around that right person, do you feel like you're in the presence of someone who sees you the way God sees you? Or do you feel like you're with someone that sees you how you used to be? See, all of us 
have friends, some good, some not so good. Some friends we need to keep at a distance. Some friends we need to keep bringing close. But this is what I want to share with you is that you and I get the power to choose. So choose wisely and never be afraid to make choices when it comes to your friends because your friends will always be linked to your destiny. So if you're on the road to restoration, ask yourself this, are you hanging around people that are drawing up desires that God wants to cancel in you? Are you hanging around people that are strengthening a weakness in you that can only cause destruction in you? See, oftentimes we get around people and we spend time with people that are just awakening the desires in us that God wants to cancel in us. And oftentimes we stay away from the people who see the best in us. Oftentimes because they're going to put a challenge on our heart or a challenge on our spirit to rise up. So this is what I want to challenge you with. I want you to today to make a decision to look at the five closest friends in your life or maybe the three closest friends, or maybe the two closest friends, and ask yourself this, which one of my friends is bringing the best out of me, and which one of my friends is causing limitations in me? Here's the story in the Bible, that when Elizabeth saw and heard Mary, her baby, John the Baptist, leaped for joy. You know you're with the right people around you. When getting around them causes the dream inside of you, the passion on the inside of you, those things that were dormant on the inside of you that need to come alive, they'll cause them to come alive. So choose wisely, my friends, because your destiny is at stake. And this road to restoration needs you and I to make those wise choices about wise friends. And today, if you need help with choosing uh, friends and choosing what friends, I want to encourage you to go to the book of Proverbs. Inside of the Bible, you'll find (laughs) verse after verse that reminds us of what type of friends to be around. I hope today's podcast helped you not only stay on the road to restoration, but to find the right people to collaborate with on the road to restoration. And I want to encourage you to leave a comment and share this with friends that you know, or maybe with friends that you know who need to choose new friends. Well, I'm Pastor Sergio Delamora. I want to thank you so much because you're making a difference by supporting the podcast. And I want to pray for you right now so that you will make correct decisions when you choose your friends. God, thank you today for everyone that's watching this podcast about choosing the right friends. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you'll give them the wisdom, the understanding, and the courage to choose wisely. Thank you because you love us and you believe in our future. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching the podcast today.